plaintiff, Shonda Lemon, hired the defendant to do a photo shoot for her daughter's birthday. But during the shoot, Shonda claims the defendant and his friend were smoking weed the entire time. Shonda claims later when she reached out to get the photos, the defendant ghosted her, so she's suing. Defendant Xavier Leeds admits that he was smoking pot during the photo shoot, but insists Shonda gave him permission to do so. Xavier claims after the photo shoot, Shonda became aggressive and confrontational, and her family started threatening him, so he had no choice but to block her. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, on May 29th, well, due to the, the entire pandemic going on, I wanted to basically give my daughter a good birthday celebration. Her birthday is the 4th of July. So I went ahead and I made a Facebook post asking if anyone knew a good photographer that I could take her to so I can give her a nice photo shoot. I was then referred to a Mr. Xavier Leeds, the defendant today. So um, on May 29th, I mean on May 31st, we went over the contract, which was on page three, as to what I would be receiving from him. Um, I then went ahead and booked him on June 2nd. As the photo shoot got closer, I went ahead and inquired with him if he had uh, props and you know what all he would have available for us. And he then stated that he only had the backdrop. That was fine. So I went ahead and I ordered the props. I ordered everything that I needed to in order to make this a great photo shoot for my daughter. Mm -hmm. On the day of June, July 3rd, which is the day of her shoot, um, I arrived with the- July 3rd. July 3rd, yes. The celebration was the 4th, or it her was for the 4th. Her birthday is the 4th of July. Yeah, but I, I did her, I wanted to do her celebrations around her birthday. Okay. So on July 3rd, uh, we went for the photo shoot. The appointed time was at 4 o'clock. I got there at, at exactly 3.54. I then texted him and I let him know that I was outside. For approximately 30 minutes straight, I got no responses to calls or texts through his phone or through Messenger because we did meet through Facebook. Um, thereafter, he then contacted us, letting us know that we could go ahead and come up because the, the photo shoot location is his apartment. So when we did get upstairs, when we got to the door, we thought that it was some type of fire going on because the entire apartment was full of smoke. Um, we then went in and it smelled like nothing but weed. It was me, my daughter, and her friend. So he then proceeded as though it was okay, and he then let us know that, oh, I'm sorry, um, it, I took so long because I was up here smoking. And oh. he waved the blunt in front of all of us, showing <laughs> us that he was up there smoking for those 30 minutes while we were downstairs waiting for this appointment. Even though I was frustrated and I was so upset, I wanted my daughter to have a good birthday. Even my daughter was like, Ma, you, you did good. Cause I would have snapped, and, but I wanted her to have a good birthday. So I put all of my emotions to the side and I proceeded. I just wanted to get it over with so we can proceed with her birthday celebrations. In between every wardrobe change, they smoked. Him and another guy. Between every single session. In front of you guys? In front of us. He, he had, it was just a big living room. Did they ask you if it was all right? No, <laughs> he didn't stop smoking. He didn't, he just kept on smoking the entire time. I'm gonna let him speak because he keeps laughing I'm over sorry. here. So I'm I don't sorry. know whether he's high or no, 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 nuts. No, no, no. I don't know what I'm, it is. I'm, so I'm gonna allow him to speak. She's telling so many lies mm -hmm. right now. It's absolutely crazy. You tell it's me how crazy. things went starting from uh, when you all decided to do business. So everything she said, starting with like booking me when she booked me all of that is true the lies start when she's saying that she walked to my door and there was nothing but smoke that's not true now i do smoke weed and i smoke for a reason i got diagnosed with anxiety God, man come out of here not with all that get out of here I've with that man it's recreational i don't care what you do go ahead so i don't know you ain't got to explain to me i wasn't why you smoking smoke when weed. she walked in and the reason why she didn't hear from me for 30 minutes the building i live in the um, bill, the buzzer bill is connected to my girlfriend's phone. She works from home and she just wasn't around her phone at the time, it was a misunderstanding. So about the weed, when she walked in, her daughter actually walked in first, she walked in behind her. 
I said to her daughter, I said, I smoke during my shoots, but I asked people, are they okay with it before I do it? Right. I said, are you okay with weed right. smoke? She said, no, it don't bother me. I asked her mom right after. I said, does weed smoke bother you? She said, no, it doesn't. Do whatever you have to do. And to you get said you never asked. Huh? I definitely no. asked. And for then sure. on to, on, in addition to that, uh, this is kind of jumping a little bit, but I know that he's going ahead and lying about the whole anxiety and everything because on page 20, there's a Facebook post where he failed his drug test for the building that Ma he Ma'am, who cares about weed? <laughs> right. Nobody cares. I agree. As long as he asks his... The only issue with this, anxiety. the only issue is that if his, he should have asked his customers, yes. is it all right? And that's the only thing I'm worried and about. All this, him he, whether he, he ain't got no anxiety to be smoking. We ain't got to have no anxiety. I have a desire. Do you have That's anxiety true. when you drinking wine? That's Do you true. have anxiety? Is that why you drink wine? <laughs> no, Is that why you why. drink liquor? Do you want to feel well, better? For reason, That's I wouldn't have had him do it. All this I wouldn't have had him do it around no stop this con. Children. This game ain't nothing. No. I would not have done with. it around. All right, let's my, leave all that. My child and then I, friend. Y'all gonna, now you ain't gonna let you make a fool out of me now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I got this prescription from my friend. Uh, that says I have anxiety and I can smoke weed. No, I like, want to hear all that. I really do, for real, though. Like, seriously. <laughs> I'm, I'll like, pray for you, brother. <laughs> I hope things are all right. But, uh, you know, weed is not the only thing that can address that. But that's probably the most healthy thing. I don't know. That's why I chose pharmaceuticals it. I don't want to be addicted to pills. All right. Good. He sounds like he's a good guy. But you say he smoked. And right. then when did you complain about anything while in there? About him smoking? No, I didn't. about the um, his his uh, work. Okay, well, after the photo shoot of July mm -hmm. 3rd, I then inquired with him on July 5th. So you didn't complain about anything at the photo no, shoot? No, okay. no. The photo shoot, it went fine. Me, okay. uh, aside from what, what I stated, everything went fine. We mm -hmm. had a good time with the props, with the... Okay. Photos, everything. It went fine. Then on, I, I, like I said, I inquired on July 5th as to when the photos would be ready in the video because it was uh, 40 to 60 photos in a video shoot photo. I mean, a video shoot of the uh, occasion. So I asked him how long it would be. He told me it would be a week to a week and a half tops from July 5th. Okay, so then I contacted him on July 15th asking him, for the production of the photos. At that point, that's when the problem began. That's when he no longer, he didn't respond to calls, texts, inquiries, nothing. He never responded at all? No, not at all. Not, uh, not nothing. Not a dot, nothing. Um, I then, uh, I kept calling him on July 15th. On July 16th, he made a Facebook post of his own. This was without him uh -huh. contacting me. He yeah. made a Facebook post saying that um, he's busy, uh, it takes time, blah, blah, blah. This is through his Facebook post. That's how I've seen Did that. Did it have your name on there? No, 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 no. This was just the day after I was So he's just him. telling the whoever, all yeah. his followers, I'm a bad businessman. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's the essence of what yes. you did, sir. Yes, that's on page 14. <laughs> and nobody knows you take a long time until you tell them. Oh, he take a long time. Well, I'm glad he told me. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go ahead, ma'am. So he told the world that it takes mm -hmm. him a long time yes. to finish his work. Exactly. He, and then what? So I screenshotted that post and I sent it to him and I said at least you can contact me and let me know directly what's happening with my photos if you gave me a deadline at least let me know hey I need a week longer however longer you know just so I know um time went on he still didn't respond no responses no responses. let me stop you right there sir why don't you tell me about this your honor if you mm -hmm. turn to page two of my evidence you will see on July 7th, she posted two photos that I took at the photo shoot. Mm -hmm. She just said I'd never replied to her all the way up until the 15th. I sent her at least six edited photos on the 5th or the 6th, I'm the not fifth. sure. But she got them, she received them, she posted them. 
she didn't say nothing bad about anything at all. Yes. She enjoyed the photos. That was July she left 5th. that out of everything she just said. That was July 5th when he stated that right. he, that it would be a One week to a week, week and a week half. Week and, and those half. were previews. Right. That was through text messages. You, never, you didn't mention That the was previews. that same day, previews July 5th. Previews are photos. You yeah. posted them. That's the same day, July 5th. Those were previews of the 40 to 60 that I would then receive a week to a week you and a half still later. never mentioned it. <laughs> is now mentioned. I'm sure, because I said it. It's, that was July 5th. All right, I'm gonna look after July 5th. Do you have your evidence that shows what uh, yes. the exchange, if any, was? You go ahead, what evidence the do you want The only evidence that of contact that we had uh -huh. was on July 5th, right. which is on page nine. Okay, we know about that, but yes. after that, after you, that, you have nothing else you can show. There was no other contact okay. except for July 21st. Right. When he actually blocked me. Okay. And I made a Facebook post about him blocking me because he hadn't contacted me. All right. Sir, did you make a post about not being able to do your work on time? I did, and I actually had been communica communicating with her, but she was actually being extremely aggressive and confrontational. And okay, I'm when not, did you communicate with her after uh, July 5th? After July 5th, yes. I communicated. Next time we talked was the 21st. Yeah, I'm after sure she, she was me. aggressive yes. by then. Because <laughs> it, after she called me for like 12 or 15 times. Yes. Why didn't you return the first one? The way she was talking, she was talking No, she, you crazy. didn't hear her talk until you returned the phone it's call. The you wouldn't have heard her talk. Was, what? She was texting me crazy. She was talking crazy. You can look Show at- Show me what if she you uh, sent you. And Look at pages 13 through 17. That, that is me con that is me contacting him over yes. those days between the and 15th and the 21st. Yes, that was me repeatedly calling him. And then on 17, that's crazy. his that's his, that's when he she reposted had in my inbox on page 17. Mm -hmm. He reposted on July 18th that page. People, who are the people? A cousin, a okay, sister. Okay, we sued a cousin. She didn't do it. Go ahead. She, what no, else? No, no, she sent them in my inbox. How do you know? Though. She said, you better get her photo or money or you, you're going that? to jail or we're coming where you stay Did at. Did that say she sent him in there? You can see all of her no, little minions in her comments. I can only hear and see what you what is evidence. When you read her comments on Facebook, you can tell. No, she, you leave. It's your evidence. I'm not going to find your evidence. Well, I don't have that. Okay, because you could. She, she, all was, right. she was deleting mm -hmm. some stuff since so she knew she was coming I know, to see sir. You. I don't believe anything you're saying. I think you're a bad businessman to even post in there that <laughs> I don't do well with time. I need more time to do my work. $800 is your judgment. Uh, I see there's absolutely no response to 12 days of outreach regarding your photos. As you say, he blocked you. He says he stopped because after the first time you talked crazy, she, but he didn't was. even talk to you the first time. Judge right. me for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> I feel like I don't owe her a dime of anything. She's talking about emotional distress when her family was literally threatening the safety of me and my kids. I'm the one that was emotionally distressed. So it is what it is. Stuff happens. It's cool. I'll get over it. I'll still be booked. I'm uncertain as to how he's emotionally distressed when he actually sent me a message letting me know that him and his girlfriend got guns and all of, of course, these things. Of course, because y'all was threatening So I'm not first. sure where he gets that from. My whole issue is the hurt behind all of this. I'm sure. It was for my daughter. And sure. he turned around and deleted all the photos that he claimed he sent.